In a bar tonight, it's also been an actor. You know, you you are on stage every night. You are also protected with a counter. <laughs> drink at work and then when you don't work it's like the opposite of an office guy <laughs> I had enough I think of London and this uh, taking the tube every day grey city you know it's great when you're 20 and you want to learn and you sponge everything and you make the connection and then you travel from there but I didn't know I just came here on holiday and I just <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go back to the roots and you know, it's green here, it's sunny. I wanted to learn Spanish as well for a long, long time. So I needed a place which was in Europe, international enough, with a Spanish base. It's all outdoor, it's all warm, it's all like party, it's all so braces, moustache and, and uh, Slow jazz music in a dark environment wouldn't work here, I know that. I landed here basically, yeah. I decided to move. I asked Chris uh, if he needed a bartender for the season, and I did the season. Making cocktails in a basement or a prohibition style bar in London is completely different from making drinks in the sunshine. Mm -mm. I think the most important thing that all of us have to have to take on is that to never close our minds, never stop learning. Because there's always somebody out there who might not be as good as you or might not be better than you, but they might have a different angle on what they do and therefore they can you can still learn from them. You can always learn from them. Well, as you know, Five Guys, as I say, it's a Mexican design because in Mexico everything is recycled at least three times. Well, I was there t ten years ago in 2004 for my first... It was my first inter international trip. And so we all went there and we all um, got the spirit of Mexico. By visiting this area and meeting people and get to understand how it's made, it was their soul, their blood, you know, they were really passionate about the product. And so we took that back with us. I mean, everybody has a sense of hospitality and how to host and receive and greet. And it's, I mean, in America, I, I learned a lot about that because America is the best uh, way of welcoming you. Not at the border, but afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's the same on this island, like kind of wannabe, chic, white, barley, rubbish, you know what I mean? And that's like an absolute mess up there. I like it. A bit like here, just this mess of strange things. This is built up over years and the look, and that's like his place. It's built up over years. That's how you get a look. You look like you come from Paris, it was all like suave and all the sunglasses bling, like retro, vintage, everything. Everything went yeah, yeah. And I know, it. and then he, was, then he sold all of his stuff. That's how I, that's how I, I met him actually, yeah. Yeah, apparently we met before, but that's my story. As for this. <laughs> <laughs> and 
he goes down to Mexico, I mean, like he has an appreciation. He goes around all those places, like those tequila fans, and I like all that shit. He takes his job properly serious, you know, not just one of these wannabe barmen. Ha, 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 ha.